who has sister locks. You have sister locks, you've had it for years, and now you're worried about your locks falling off completely. This is an urgent plea for you who is worried about your sister locks that you've absolutely loved when you first had them. You loved the fullness, you loved what it gave you, but it's many years, you might be seven years plus, 10 years, 15 years, 12 years, and you are lost. You're not a social media person. You are looking for help and you feel alone. This post is for you. You feel alone, you're isolated. And social media can be so overwhelming. If you're not a social media person and you are trying to find the solution to why your sister locks is thinning and why you can see more bald patches and why the hair feels so brittle and so thin and you remember it didn't used to look like that and you are so worried and you feel isolated and you don't see anyone who looks like you online who has sister locks understand that there are many people online who are talking a lot and they have a full head of hair and you could feel like I'm on my own. There are many people who privately are struggling like you. I see them. This is the most traumatic experience I'm having, realizing that people's hair is falling out. People are going bald. And there's only one of me, right? And I'm here because I don't want you to go bald. You don't want to go bald. That's why you're watching this post and you're lost. My background is I'm cert ex-certified sister loss consultant and I used to practice sister locks. And then I began to realize that there was a real problem. All the white follicle heads I used to see. So if you're seeing white follicle heads along your sister locks and it's being interlocked every four weeks now, every three weeks, every every five weeks, every six, it's for you, in your soul, in your spirit, your head is telling you, I'm being retightened too often. Then you need to wake up and understand that's what is exactly happening. You are being retightened too often. And as a result of the retightening interlocking methodology used, your strands are being weakened. You're not going crazy. And so I'm here to let you know you're not going crazy. Something is off, something is wrong. And now you're allergic to the retightening system that you once, your hair once loved. Understand this, your hair loss has been happening for a very, very, very long time, but you've just not realized it. By the time you realize that your sister locks is thinning, it's probably been it's probably been uprooted for the last two years. So by the time you realize it, it's becoming acute. I am seeing grown black women. I'm seeing their videos with balding heads and it's so scary and traumatic. And I keep asking, why didn't they stop? And I'm just thinking maybe if they saw a video like this, they would have stopped in time so they don't go bald or like they're now choosing my option of knotting, but they don't have that much locks on their head. And it's uh, knotted locks is a methodology. It's not a hairstyle. So knotted locks can't automatically just bring back your strands. If your strands have gone, I don't know whether they're going to come back or not. So what I'm trying to do is to get to you who is, whose sister locks is thinning and you're worried I want the strands that remain on your head to be attached to your head. And it can be so overwhelming. Even if I tell you wet it, because there's some people, their hair, they've lost so much of their locks that even the word leaving it alone or wetting it is scary. So I'm here. My contact details are in the comments. My contact details are in most of my posts. But if you start by sending me a video on the WhatsApp, I can then talk you through urgently what you need to do.
because there's an urgency because I don't want you to have another retightening session and that's the last time that follicle works because follicles have follicles have lifespans and if that's the last time it keeps coming back you know those hair break off and then the person it retightens them and not giving them time to heal, recover and become stronger. And then they pull back into the lock and they pull back into the lock and literally drawn, pulled out of your scalp. At some point, that follicle is not going to come back. So that's why I always say, don't go to your appointment. If you're watching this, one of the first things you need to do is don't go to your appointment. Contact me and let me tell you what I think you should do next. My, I'm not perfect and I'm still learning, right? And I'm still learning about African hair because African hair is super, super diverse. But my issue that I have with the methodology you're using and the direction you're going within Sister Locks is that Sister Locks is not allowing us to actually enjoy our African texture hair. And our African texture hair is enjoyable and there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe it's finely um, structured, coiled. The characteristics of African, African hair is so diverse that I feel like every six weeks going in and retightening it and taking it away and just having locks is not good enough for us. This is attached to our heads, close to our skull, close to our brain, close to so much information being given and every strand, every lock matters. So when you start losing strands, you're losing that antenna, you're losing that information. You want to nurture it. And by nurturing it, you have to live with your regrowth. There is nothing wrong with your African texture being in small size locks and tangling together. There is nothing wrong with tangling. There's degrees of tangling, which I can talk you through. That's why I have the consultation. I carry a consultation before I teach. But I live with my growth. It's absolutely fine to live with your growth. It's beautiful it's such a beautiful relationship i have formed with my hair because i knot it you know i can i can describe the characteristic i want that for you so that's really why i'm online speaking to you sister looks wearer that's feeling like one i meet so many people who say one more search one more time one more month one more retype one more and I'm going to cut off my sister loss if I don't find a solution. This post is for you. I hope that I'm able to reach you in time. And then I will explain when I have my consultation with you and I understand what's going on with your hair and your texture and I look closely at your hair. I will begin to then explain to you why this doesn't work with your hair type. I don't want to make a generic kind of like assumption about everyone's hair because I'm learning since allowing my clients to do whatever they want, come when they want their hair done and how I'm teaching and how people are living with their regrowth. There is a lot of information that I recognize I actually am not up to date with and I will never be because every single person's hair texture and all the different textures you have all, 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 all across your head is different and diverse but I feel like I have enough knowledge now 13 years in the industry you know five years of me practicing knotted locks four years of teaching I feel like I have enough knowledge to actually give you the information specific to you and the guidance and I also feel like you need support. The salon service has worked up to a point, but you actually need one-on-one -on -one support. And then you will fly, and then you will flourish, and then you will know exactly what to do with your hair. Your hair will become locks. So after, after the conversation we have, you will move away from sister locks, and you will simply have locks that are small size. A lot of you are reaching out to me is saying you like the size. I was a fan of my size, but there shouldn't be a cost to your follicles. There shouldn't be any pain. There shouldn't be any stretching. There shouldn't be any movement of your hairline going further back. There shouldn't be more scalp showing. There shouldn't be more breakage to the back. There shouldn't be your, your crown area is so tender to touch. 
it's so sparse. There shouldn't be that separation of locks. It is absolutely fine for your African texture to be in small size locks and for there to be a bit of tangling, a bit of hugging. I always explain that it's equivalent to, you know, your kids holding hands together or two fr little friends, you know, holding kids, holding hands together. And then you go, right, you go in that class, you go in that, let go of each other and you do it gently and from a place of total love and understanding that the characteristics of your African texture hair is to coil, is to hold, is to hug and it's beautiful. You need to begin to learn to interact with water and that can be scary. And I tell you something, there is so much damage I'm seeing that sometimes I'm even scared to say go into water because when you go into water for the first time after decades of deprivation from not having water, from hydration, lack of hydration, yeah? Guess what happens? It shows you first the damage. So I went first into water and I started healing. First, my tiny, tiny fine hairs were falling a lot before it settled. And there's actually, you have to not run away from water, you have to go to water and then eventually you will heal. But this is so scary to do it on your own. This is so scary to do it on your own. So at least you're supported. The answer when you're feeling vulnerable is not to make yourself extra vulnerable. The answer when you're feeling ill is to lie down and try and rest. The answer when you're tired is not for you to do more tiring stuff, but for you to lie down and rest your body. Your scalp needs rest. Your strands need to be left alone. And water needs to be introduced back into your strands to help give back the elasticity that has been absent from the main characteristics of your head. The answer is not to go and sit in a sister lock's chair. The answer is not to be afraid, to be courageous and think a bit more expansively and think about the intention. What is your vision for your African texture hair in small size locks rather than in sister locks? And so when your hair is in pain, when a client is in pain, there is no way I'd encourage a re-locking, knotting session. I would say rest because your locks are not going to fall out. But your locks are going to fall out if you carry on going to that chair, sprinting to that chair and thinking that hand is going to save your lock, your sister locks, when that hand is actually allergic to your your, sis, your hair is allergic to those hands. They're not the savior. You are your savior. You are the person who is going to understand, actually, my hair needs this and my hair needs that. And because you, Sister Locks Wearer, has been quiet in yourself, you have removed the intelligence and the common sense and the rationality and the knowledge you need for your hair to thrive. Instead, you've run to the person who you call an expert, but they're not an expert in your African texture hair in small size locks. They're an expert in sister locks. They're serving sister locks and not your head. I hope this helps you. Sister locks wearer thinking one more time, one last time, and I'm going to cut these locks off because I feel like they're dropping and I don't want to go bored. What's happening? Thank you very much for watching this post. I pray, not now even, but for the future, someone hears this post and I'm present, I'm here, ready to help save your locks. The grid does not serve you. Sister locks, you are now, you've are now outgrown your sister locks experience and it's time for a new experience. Still maintaining your size and moving on to you healing and hopefully thriving. I hope this message gets to you on time. Thank you so much for watching this post. Take care of yourself.